Hey, it's Cole here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Paper Mario, the thousand of the It's still a little loud for me, actually. I've just had to reinstall my system, so things are probably going to be a little weird. That overture play, and uh, we'll get started here. So, last time we recovered our fourth crystal star, and uh, now we have to look for um, someone. I forget who. Hey, Luigi. Yep, you don't feel the dog. Cool. Animal Bobbery, okay. That house just past the wall in the eastern part of town. The house past the wall in the eastern part of town. Oh, is that the one that's been locked this entire time? This one, right? Well, now that we have some additional skills, maybe there's something we can do back here. Or, like, get a star piece. Sure. Um... I guess there's not much we can do from here either. We made Twilight Town, cool. Sure. Sounds good. Sure, this is what they're talking about. Just how do we get in there? Okay, sure. What the chest is down? Also, we can't get. Hey, we can get over here, though. This guy jumping from roof to roof. Might have been. I was sneaking in chimneys. That's probably what we need to do here. Believe. Okay, we're still up. We're still up. We can get this. Hey, who are you? Grifty the Traveling Minstrel. Huh. I don't know that I've ever met this person. We got the right idea. Also, I wonder if can't get on that crate. Basically, I I know that there is a uh, a star piece around here. There it is. Okay. 
And that's what I was trying to get before doing anything else. Ah. And then we should be able to slot into here. What do you blokes want? I'm more bobber. I have the, fa the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Superstash. We've already found out that you're on Admiral Bobbery. Huh, <sighs> what poppycock. Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator? Then you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set, uh, I shall set sail upon the sea. Never will. But that's just not cool. You want me? A, you want to see me beg for something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely a Keelhaw Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Now away with you. Now I'm taking this door. Heck with you. I'm stealing your giant spell. What are you gonna do about it? What's the next move, Chief? The salt of you is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean, anyway? You know what we gotta do? Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Um, how many roads must the man walk? We have three shine sprites. So... Since there's nobody here to tell me otherwise, I don't think. Uh, there's someone... Oh, right. We just got Ms. Mouse, too. Hmm. Well. Still. Goombella's been with us from the start. And I'm honestly feeling bad about... Uh, leaving her at standard rank this entire time. So since there's nobody here to tell me otherwise... Shizubi! Shizubi! Then you may go. Since we know that, uh... Bubbery refused? How vexing. But is it not your job to solve this problem, hmm? Why don't you find someone who knows Bubbery and see what you can find out? Uh... Like who? Well, I have an idea, and it's the idea that I was originally working on at the end of last stream. That's going to require us to go to Petalburg. I think they're down here. Yes. And so this one is going to be pedal bag. Uh, yeah, 
I think the dude that I want to talk to is over here. This guy. Good. I am General White. I am a bow bomb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I don't care what I do, I just want to help people. Is that so wrong? Okay, uh, do, do you know someone named Bobbery? No? Okay. that they took out the enemy from the screen. I can ask around the, uh, the harbor. There's probably some story trigger that it, there we go. Make sure. Yeah. Okay, well, you just told me the same thing. A bobbery. That's not useful information. Uh, also heard he was dead. This is us, some of these people. Practicing your hose. That's what you said, right? Yep. Practicing. The, this this person here is practicing their hoes. And we will not judge them for that. Uh-huh. Bahaha, you say. Okay, then why are you coming to kill all of you? Damn. Probably not, no. The cat in the back was a little bit more sus, he would have an anime Terry eye. Yes, indeed. Hey, Terry. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe all of a sudden there's something here? No. I'm not sure which story trigger I'm missing here. What if I talk to you again? Bella, do you have anything to say? 
the darkness and hell legend. It'd be nice if Professor Frankly could tell us something about him. Admiral Barry won't go to sea? That's a setback. Hmm, I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'm willing to bet that Podley knows about you. He works at the Inn's Cafe. You say Bobber won't go to sea, huh? Oh, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? How's that it? I see. You want a mountain expedition to keel all key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, I know Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. In that case, get ready. Barbary still awoke with something like this. Barbary was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty and named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Barbary was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. But they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. Not all good things to pass. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. Iris, passing cold, no one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bright suffering. By the time he had returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her back to hell. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He's never gone at sea since. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. Y'all know his tale now. Tell me, you still want him to return to the sea? I mean, we had to progress the story forward, unfortunately, so. Very well, I understand. If you're determined, I'll give you this. Ooh, a letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, I'd give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It's our last request. When I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the, do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thanks, Podley. Don't beat yourself up for this. We'll deliver the letter. Come on, Mario. Oh, yeah. Trusty Steve here. <laughs> what? Oh, that Blarton's beard, and not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? Letter, you say? 
The fuck? Mm -hmm. What? Scarlet. This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, I am no longer by yourself. Because fate has set between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you're out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. And you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not, boof, uh, do not lose both your life's lives. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Ah, thousand pardons. May I have a moment alone, if you please? Now, you are looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for key, for key all key. Oh, yeah. Huh. You think an old sea bomb like me is what you need? Then let's shove off. Emerald Bobbery, yes. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. Why didn't he give her- why didn't he give the letter earlier? Cause... I don't know, so, some people... Get emails. Uh, and some other people... Just... I don't know. People are complicated for complicated reasons. That's the best that I can say. Um... Oh, it's mail from uh, Petuni. Good, very good, no great. Uh, yeah, we are kind of busy. Not necessarily a place nobody's ever been, but not a whole lot of people have been there, and the place is cursed, so, you know. Unfortunately, this device only receives emails, so I'm not going to be able to actually respond. Also... Actually, I saw the, uh, the traveling merchant there. If he's still there, let's uh, see if he has anything useful this time. Skull Cave, Jam and Jelly, Jumpman? Ugh. Look, it's not my fault that your stuff is crap. Knew you would get Barbary on board, you wonderful mustache man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as a captain. Ahoy to me as well! My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Uh, let me save first. Just for good night. So it wasn't much longer after this that uh, the recording just kind of cut out and I wasn't really sure how to fix it. Um... So I decided to cut this uh, this recording off at the last 
uh, save point. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually get to play any more of uh, Thousand Year Door uh, during this session, so that's all there's going to be for this update. Sorry about that, but next time uh, we should be able to properly get into things and um, start up Chapter 5 for real. So, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this recording. I'm Coolio, if you don't know. I'll see you guys next time.